But first, new information tonight about a plan that could bring major change to the western branch area of Chesapeake. I'm Anita Blanton. And I'm Tom Shad. Last week, we told you about plans to revitalize Chesapeake Square Mall along with the surrounding area. Now, the new plan focuses on 500 acres surrounding that area where Portsmouth Boulevard meets I-664. But some say this comes with problems. Ten of your side's Brett Hall is live at tonight's meeting, which is going on pretty late, Brett. Yeah, it's still going on. We actually didn't even get to the issue that you were just referring to until 45 minutes ago. Again, busy night in the world of Chesapeake planning, but the developers who bought Chesapeake Square Mall last year, they have this big plan to revitalize Western Branch, as you were saying, but they say to successfully revitalize the mall, they need to also have a foundation. And in this case, the foundation comes in the form of a development that includes more than 800 housing units. The problem is that the city staff that advises the planning commission, they say this should be denied. And that's all because of overcrowding in schools. The city planning director found that as things currently stand, any elementary school student that would live in the proposed development at the corner of Portsmouth Boulevard and Jolliffe Road in Western Branch would go to Chittam Elementary, a school that currently has 10 portables. Now, Coterie's development has acknowledged this is problematic, and today they came to council, or they came to the planning commission rather, with a compromise saying that they would not allow any occupancy in any of their proposed homes until 2022 because they say that at that time they will be able to allow for the school to figure out how to expand the elementary in order to make sure they accommodate all potential students. They also have a brewery and a warehouse plan, so they say they'll do that in phase one instead. Now, again, we still haven't seen how the Planning Commission is gonna vote on this, but really, it doesn't matter. City Council gets the final vote, and they could choose to ignore a city policy that says that that school must be within a year of completion before any rezoning happens. Again, a very late meeting. We will bring you the very latest on wavy.com, and then first thing in the morning, if it's done by then, on Wavy News 10 today. Live at Chesapeake City Hall, Brett Hall, Ted on your side. All right, yeah, long meeting there. Remember, you can find our full coverage on the proposal and take a look at it for yourself over on wavy.com.